Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoe Software, and I wanted to show you an exciting new feature we've added to MDS, the ability to enable Auto Advance in Big Sur so you can do zero touch deployments of Macs. So you don't have to, um, you basically send a command to erase the drive and uh, it'll reboot, completely set the machine up, uh, enroll in MDM and then go through the setup assistant and be back at the login window. Um, this is a feature of Big Sur um, and it requires MDM and device enrollment um, which are built into MDS. So let me show you how that works. I have an admin Mac here um, that's just running MDS uh, that actually hosts micro MDM and um, stays running so that the, uh, the target machine can communicate with it. And then I have a Mac mini here which is sitting on my desk but can be installed in a data center in a rack somewhere. Um, plugged into Ethernet. This one's I'm going to be using Wi-Fi, but most likely you have it plugged into Ethernet to make sure that you have that good network connection. Um, and so this this Mac Mini has also been enrolled in uh, in D, the device enrollment, and I've already gone into the Apple Business Profile and assigned it to an MDM. So that's all been set up. Um, that's something that we've been doing for a long time. Um, but now the new feature in Big Sur is I can say a setting to skip Setup Assistant completely. Actually, not even skip it. It's called Auto Advance. So let me show you how that works. So I have Micro MDM uh, service opened up for configuration here uh, in MDS. And um, my device is showing the Mac Mini is already enrolled in MDM. It doesn't have to be at this point um, because it's uh, just being set up. And under settings, I'll go to configure MDM profile. So MDM, the MDM profile is the initial profile that gets sent down when a Mac comes up and auto enrolls into, the, into MDM. It gets sent down this profile and does that configuration. And the exciting new setting we added in and Big Sur uh, supports is the skip setup assistant or technically it's the auto advanced setup without prompting user. So that's new in Mac OS. 11 uh, Big Sur. Um, one thing I found out is that when you're um, doing this, you want, definitely want to create a user account because if you're skipping that user account creation, you can do that. But you also have to skip primary account creation, which is when it prompts the user to enter in the, um, uh, to create a user on the machine. And so we don't want to do that. We're going to do that automatically. So if you don't skip it, what happens is it stops the setup assistant auto advance and forces the user to create that user, which may be the behavior you want. But for us, we want full, no touch, zero touch deployment. So I created a user. Um, and under, and under setup assistant customization, we're gonna skip the setup assistant. A couple other um, customizations is that I'm gonna install two packages mm -hmm. through this initial profile, Firefox and uh, Google Chrome. And then under uh, options, I'm gonna enable SSH, uh, allow administrators to screen share and enable remote management ARD. So that's a great uh, initial setup. So that means not only is the machine completely wiped, reinstalled the OS, and the packages and re-enrolled back in MDM, skipping the setup assistant, but it will also turn on SSH and screen sharing, so it's now ready to be, um, to be configured and uh, or be used. All right, so I'll click on update and that will update this initial profile that gets sent to the machine uh, for uh, configuration. So it also does, one of the nice things about MDS is it packages up all the information that you need and signs them. So this example, I just specified a folder with a couple of applications. It packages up those applications and then signs them with the uh, su supplied certificate. So um, that's all done. And so now um, what I'll do is I will, I have actually uh, screen sharing onto this machine. You can see that this is up, it's at the login window. And I don't want to even type, I don't have a keyboard and mouse hooked up this machine. So what I need some way to send a command to it. So what I will do is I open up terminal and SSH is on and I'll go and I'll SSH into this. Okay, so now I've SSH'd in and I can run a command, the start OS install command. So what I what I can I need to have the actual Mac OS installer, which I have in a disk image that's plugged into an external drive. This could be hosted on a web server as well, and you would just mount the disk image. I actually have the disk image on this external drive, so I'm just going to mount it. So the actual command. Okay, so I've mounted it, and now I will run this command that is. Um, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me make it a little bit bigger. 
So on this disk image, I'm going to run the start OS install command from inside the uh, Big Sur app. And I'm going to give it a couple of flags. First one is agree to license, so it won't prompt me for license. That will give the new volume name, which I'm calling Goody. Um, force quit apps, so that means it won't, won't uh, an app that's running that says it has an open document or something like that, it won't uh, block it. And then erase install. And erase install completely erases the drive. So you notice that I'm not installing any packages here. I could associate some packages on initial install if I wanted to, but since I'm installing those two initial applications for MDM, I don't need that. So let me go ahead and just copy this. And now I need to have a root shell. Then I'll run it. All right, so now it's starting and um, we'll let this run and you'll see how it actually progresses. All right, so it has now completed the first part of the install. So I opened up the var log, install that log on the Mac Mini as well, so you can kind of see the installer. The percentages slow down after 100%, actually go more than 100%. Uh, it's just it just chimed and rebooted. Um, and it'll reboot a couple times as it erases the drive and then uh, starts the OS install. But you can see that my SSH sessions closed down for both of them once it reached uh, the preparing complete. And at this point it finalizes the uh, install and then it will go through the package install and then finally it will uh, walk through the setup assistant. All right, now we're at the setup assistant um, and it takes about 45 seconds to a minute before it detects the um, DEP configuration and I'll go ahead and do it. The one thing uh, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi is connected. I don't have Ethernet plugged into this. It does keep, if you had a Wi-Fi network configured before, um, it will use that one um, pretty consistently, I found. VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. So it uh, is still waiting for the DEP record, but it does have network connection. So hopefully any second, it'll show the actual advancement of it. All right, there it goes. You can see it's automatically walking through. I'm not touching anything. Um, it, remote management started to uh, install. It's giving some progress updates. And as you can see, it's walking through all the different pieces. You don't have to touch anything and it's, it's literally auto advance where it's advancing through the setup assistant. And I believe this is the last, uh, last pane that it shows before it goes to the login window. There we go. So now we have the login window. The machine has been completely erased, um, installed. And uh, what about those two applications? Well, let's go look. We'll log in. Um, oh, actually I turned on SSH and screen sharing, right? So I think I should be able to, if I go to network, there's the Mac mini and I'll screen share. Let me close this. Yep, there we go. So screen share was turned on as part of the setup. There we go. So now I'm screen sharing and I'll go ahead and log in. There we go. So now I'm logging in and it will actually show me the, uh, the user controls or the privacy uh, selections. Um, we can turn those off with, uh, with MDS as well, but I didn't set it for this profile. So I'll just step through it. Okay, so let's look and see if I um, have the application. So there's Firefox, Firefox has been installed. Google Chrome has been installed, so the initial applications are there. Um, if I look, um, I'm pretty sure that SSH and screen sharing work because I'm actually using screen sharing. But if I go to remote management, 
and you can see that um, remote login has been turned on and remote management has been enabled as well. So this machine is ready to be uh, configured and set up through ARD or whatever else um, to be able to uh, communicate with it, which is a requirement for uh, using MDM. So it's pretty exciting to be able to set this up um, so quickly and refresh it um, without having to uh, test the machine at all. In fact, this Mac Mini is running headless and I never uh, had to hook a keyboard and mouse into it or uh, screen share into it except for this last bit when I was just kind of showing the demo. But it was completely set up with one touch, zero touch, no touch, no touches. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and to like this video so you get notified of more of them. Please also check out our MDS Slack channel on two canoes, or sorry, on the uh, Mac Admins uh, Slack channel. So just go to macadmins.org, sign up for Slack, and then join the two canoes dash uh, MDS channel so you can get uh, join part of the community. And if you're interested more about MDS and this functionality and you want to download a copy and, and check it out, um, please go to our product page at twocanoes.com slash MDS. Thank you very much for watching.